Okay, so just got a Honda GX200 um, electric start, obviously, um, for one of my water pumps. Um, and, uh, you know, again, making this video not because it's going to be super popular and a bunch of people care, but because I wish I had seen something like this. Um, so I really like these Honda engines. Um, I think they're wonderful, but around here we work in extremely dusty conditions and, uh, the air filters, you know, plug up pretty quick and everything. And it's just a pain in the ass. Um, so, uh, I, well, thinking how to word this and shit and, you know, words are hard and what have you. Um, so this setup here is what Honda calls their cyclone, uh, air filter. Um, and what it is, is a little pre-cleaner bowl on the side of the air filter housing. Um, the stupid thing and the shitty thing about Honda is that they do not sell a, uh, cyclone air cleaner on a electric start engine. And I wanted the electric start and the cyclone. So I unfortunately had to, and I say unfortunately just because it's stupid, it's not the end of the world, it's pretty easy to swap this over. Um, so I bought the electric start engine and then bought all the parts to convert it over to the Cyclone air cleaner. Um, and so you can see here, am I kind of in focus? Maybe not. So here are, and I know it's black and, you know, it's going to be, not very easy to see on camera, but here are all the parts that I swapped over. Obviously not the oil dipstick. I just put a magnetic one in there. Um, so you have to change, you know, a fair amount of stuff on the engine, um, the, uh, to swap these things over on the two hundreds like this one anyways, and the one sixty by extension, um, because it's essentially the same engine. Um, you actually use the same air filter. The air filter does not change between the standard and the Cyclone. Um, I'll make another video about my 390 because on the 390 engine it does change. So, uh, the way that this all goes together here with the factory setup is you have this little uh, elbow that goes onto the front of the carburetor. Um, and again, like I said, all this shit changes. Um, but there is no sort of pre-cleaning at all. There's just these holes that go through this base plate here. Um, and the dirty air will come up through here into the filter and then in through the clean side and into the carburetor. Um, and you know, these are relatively large holes. And so, you know, you'll, you'll take the cover off and there'll be, you know, pieces of grass and shit and everything stuck in there. Um, and, uh, unfortunately the entire cover and all that kind of shit changes because on the, um, on, on the 160 here, um, like I said, it uses the same, um, the same air filter as the standard one. And so you can see like this cover damn near will fit over there. Just not quite, um, so it would be really cool if they had it set up where you could just swap the cover because on the 200 and the 390, the pre-cleaner part here is actually only in the cover of the air filter housing. But anyways, so you have to swap the carburetor because the, um, the, the original carburetor that comes with does not compensate for intake restriction. And so what that means is as the filter starts to plug, the, the engine will start to run richer and it'll be smoking and puffing and all that kind of stuff. And that's on one hand, a good thing, you know, it lets you know when the air filter starts to plug and in the original air filter setup here, it's not a problem because this is not at all restrictive. Like, yes, technically it does add a little bit of restriction versus just having an air filter sitting on here, but it's neg negligible. It's basically nothing. Um, so when you put the pre-cleaner on here for the pre-cleaner to work, it has to create a little bit of restriction. Um, and if you try and put the, you know, even cause you have to swap everything here. Even if you put the intake elbow and this pre-cleaner cover and everything on the original carburetor, it will cause the engine to run rich. Um, 
So the carburetor that comes with um, the Cyclone ones is a compensating carburetor. It will compensate for a little bit of intake restriction. Um, and also, um, you know, not only added just by the pre-cleaner, but if the air filter starts to plug a little bit. Um, and so that's why you have to swap the carburetor. Everything else is actually the same. Um, spin this around here. So this 200 is a little bit different than my 160. I thought that they were identical, but they're not quite. Um, so you can see it's got a little support for the muffler here, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and there's a few other minor differences, but, um, so you do actually have to, on the 200, swap the valve cover. So I got an entire new valve cover. The original one has got a hole that the blow by hose, blow by hose goes into. On this one here, there's a little nipple that comes off of uh, the valve cover and then the hose slides over and then it comes with a different hose too because the hose is just slightly differently shaped. Um, so on the 200s, you gotta do valve cover, uh, blow by hose, um, of course, all of these components here, the carburetor and the intake elbow, the air filter and everything else stays the same. Um, like, you know, you don't have to get a new nut for this and, you know, the wing nut on top of the, uh, air filter itself stays the same. Um, you can kind of tell just by pulling this off here that it is a pretty tight fit. Of course, on the original one, the cover is not a tight fit to the air filter base there um, because that's how it gets its air. On the Cyclone ones, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's actually a little O-ring that goes down here and that's so that when this cover sits on here, that air cannot enter by going through right here. It's forced to go through the pre-cleaner. And uh, like I said, I've already converted this one here, obviously, but I have parts to do another one. Um, and so this part is right here, and then we have the other pieces here. And so the way that this works is um, air will come in through the front here. Let's see if I can fucking frame this thing up a little bit better. But. You know, I'm retarded and that's too much to ask for, I suppose. So air will come in through the front here of this little guy. This piece here, you can see it's got like little um, fins on it to spin the air. That piece sits in right there. And then this bowl clips on to the bottom like so. And so this guy here obviously goes into the air filter housing but as the air comes in through here it has to make a turn to go through these fins where it spins the air to the outside of the wall here and then it has these little holes cut into the outside of it there and the theory being that the contaminants come through the outside here and spin and because they're heavy because they're you know particles of dust dirt fucking ash whatever um, that they will spin to the outside of this little guy here and get ejected out the bottom and the air has to come in through here and make a 180 degree turn and go up through here and come through the little pre-cleaner adapter on the side of the uh, air filter cover here um, and the bottom of this bowl here has actually got a crown to it like can I show that oh, yeah, you can kind of see it that so when this is sitting upside down it won't allow um, water to build up in here assuming that these little holes are open of course I mean if they get clogged then um, you're not doing yourself any favors but so it's got like a little slit up here that it has to line up into. There's one 
like snap tab right here and then it's held together with three bolts so like so and then then If I get everything lined up as the bolts would hold it together, it would be a nice tight fit. Um, on my engine here, you can see, well, maybe you can see I got zip ties holding it together for the moment um, because the place that I ordered the parts through uh, screwed up and did not give me enough bolts um, to hold all this together. Um, Obviously, this is a brand new engine, and I haven't gotten to use it, but I will make a, another video um, once I get to use it, and I will also make another video when I convert my 160, because the 160 has slightly different parts, but I'll go through the entire process of swapping this, and I'll make another video of my 390 that has the electric start on it, or sorry, the electric start and the Cyclone pre-cleaner on it. Um, but yeah, that's Honda's. Cyclone pre-cleaner. I think it's kick-ass and I wish all their engines came with it.